Hello, this is part three of our Somerset Levels uh, stencil print. Now in this one we're going to look at these uh, pollarded or coppiced willows that you get all over the Somerset Levels. They're the kind of icon really. This image is the icon of, of how the Somerset Levels look. And uh, let's just look. So what you get is you get the uh, trunk bit, which is a sort of metre or two high. And then every year they will coppice from this place here. So this will get a real kind of, um, like a, an, a real bunch of tiny little um, knobbly bits where they've been cut every year. And so every year they cut back that and that sends out the brand new shoots and the brand new shoots of willows grow really high and that's what they then um, coppice and kind of harvest to make the uh, baskets and whatnot with the long new shoots. So to make a, a stencil out of that, we need to simplify it and make it into a little design. So um, I quite like also the way that you, some might go this way and some might go another way. That That's very much um, how they look. So if we think we've got our, um, our trunk that's going to come over, sort of bend over a bit, and then we've got all those little knobbly bits so we're going to make little zigzags there and then from there you've got maybe a few branches that stick out at kind of funny angles but most of them are going to go up so we'll do lots of branches like that and then each one I mean you don't even need to draw it because you can just cut it each one is going to, we make it into a long thin hole through which you can sponge your paint through. So that's what a stencil is, making a series of holes in order to put your paint through. So that's one of them. I could add a bit more to some of these gaps to make. Okay, so I'd make a couple of those. So maybe one going this way and another going the other way. And um, then I'm going to cut that out. So I'm going to turn it round so that I can do the, the swoopy line. So really it's just making a thin, long hole. So there's one. meat and then a few that come round so the trunk is going to come round like that and I've got these little and I keep moving the paper rather than moving myself always cut away from your hand the hand that holds it you don't want to be cutting towards your hand So I quite like the way that the trunk is very different from the spindly uprights. That gives it quite a strong, chunky design at the base. Okay, so you get the idea. We're going to cut all those out and make another one where the, the, the trunk maybe goes the other way. Um, okay, so that's the end of uh, number three. And I'll see you in number four where we'll do the printing and put it all together. Okay.